There's a uh, there's a bar over in Butte called the Met Tavern, and uh, I had been elected a few years when I sponsored and managed to designate the rattlesnake north of uh, rattlesnake area north of Missoula as wilderness. Uh, all of my friends in the Met, most of whom helped me get elected, were miners. They worked for the company over there. And so suddenly they see this friend of theirs who gets elected to Congress and he's pushing for wilderness. And uh, it kind of bothered them. Gee, we thought this guy was for jobs. Now suddenly he seems to be for wilderness. Are the two connected? And uh, so my brother-in-law who would go in to have a beer or two in the in the Met every night after work uh, called me up one day I was in in Washington and he said Pat you're not you're getting going into a lot of trouble in the Met uh, you ought to come over here next time you're in town we'll go down and have a beer you can assure these guys you're still on your their side and so I did that within a few weeks and uh, I saw my brother-in-law at his house and he said well, they're no longer angry at you down there. And I said, what happened? He said, do you remember that old guy named Sam who used to come in here occasionally? Uh, he lived down in the, along the big hole. And I said, yeah, I remember. I remember Sam from the big hole river, yeah. And he said, well, you know, he never said a word. We didn't know he could talk. And he said, he came in the other day and guys are ragging on you and saying to me, geez, that brother-in-law, you're screwing us, we're all going to be out of work if he keeps putting everything in wilderness. And he said, suddenly we heard a voice that we had never heard before that said, ah, shut the hell up. And we looked over and he said, it was Sam. Nobody had ever heard him speak before. He didn't even order a drink. They'd just bring him what they knew he wanted. So we'd never heard his voice. We said, Sam? And he said, listen, fellas, let me tell you something. I've been coming here every couple of weeks for 25 years, and the only thing I've ever heard you guys or your fathers talk about was hunting and fishing. And that elk you got last year, or that big trout you got out of the Big Hole, or the Madison, or the Jefferson. And now you come in here, and all you want to talk about is Pat Williams, who's trying to save all of that for you. He said, I've never heard of one of you talk about your job or how you love working for the Anaconda Company digging that pit ever deep. You talk about fishing and hunting. Pat Williams is trying to save those places for you. Get off of his butt. He's on our side.